For the fans, anime is an escape from stress. Ironically, you wouldn't believe what creators are going through to make that anime. Here we are in Akihabara again, and I'm about to get schooled in anime. Lesson number one, it's almost impossible to get in, but I know an American guy who beat the odds and made it. There he is! Hello, Henry! Hello. Nice to meet you! My name's Henry Thurlow. I'm originally from New York. I've been living in Japan for over 10 years now, and I work in the Japanese anime industry. At the first studio I worked at, it was one drawing, one dollar. Uh, in my giant 17-hour day, I earned $17. Henry now has a good salary and good working hours at one of Japan's most prestigious animation studios. But before entering this company years ago, he had to work extremely hard to get the experience and qualifications to land this dream job. After all he's been through and the reputation that this notorious industry has, I have to ask him, was it all worth it? For most of the animators, and I know you'll think I'm crazy saying this, <laughs> but it really isn't a job. I don't consider what I, I do a job. I already think you're crazy, Henry. <laughs> I already think you're crazy. <laughs> I am, well, but the, I guess I am. Like, I am, but but uh, but I'm crazy in a way that I embrace, and I'm proud of, and I wouldn't yes. have it any other way. Absolute world-class animation. How do we do it? Let's work for barely any money morning until night for five straight months. Hey team, you want to do this? You want to amaze the world with this? Now, no one here is going to barely earn anything, but do you want to shock the world? Hell yeah, we want to shock the world. Henry is one of the only Americans to make it into this industry, let alone make it big. So I had to ask him, how did he even start? If you really want to work in anime, it's not that it's impossible, it's just that not many people do what is necessary to make it happen, which is you might have to move to the other side of the planet, learn a completely different language, interview in a different language, <laughs> then get the competitive job and then start at the bottom again. So exactly, it's a giant list of very <laughs> difficult things that simply most people aren't willing to do. And maybe because they're smart. <laughs> um, but, <clears throat> but to go back to like when I was trying to get in, so no one wanted to hire the foreigner when I was here. It was a, I mean, it's really kind of a horror story. Like, like I don't want to take credit for it, but because of me and a few other people who did initially get jobs in, in the animation industry as foreigners, the people working out here kind of changed a little bit and they became a little bit more open to, well, maybe if they're good animators, they can still participate even if they're not Japanese. Either. You were the only American. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Americans are super rare. There's literally only two or three Americans in the whole industry. Oh yeah. my god. And I was work and I and uh, Arthel Isom is, is the other one yeah. who's my friend who uh, I was working with for a whole bunch right. of years there. Just that one interview ended with Well okay. <laughs> can you start next month? And then I was like <gasps> That's the words <laughs> I've been moment. waiting to hear, right? Yeah. And 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 once you're in, then you're before entering the industry. I would go around Tokyo into different uh, like <clears throat> figure drawing sessions and I would just keep practicing on making my portfolio better and better. There are days where I'm like pulling all-nighters and stuff and I'm like, I want to be sleeping, I want to be home. At the end of the day, of course I'm not going to stop because I know in my heart I'm an animator, I got to finish this and then at the end I'm going to feel super proud that I did and then jump on to my next project. So uh, the West, I think, hears about the Japanese work ethic and is shocked and appalled constantly. Uh, oh my God, Henry went through that, that's so crazy. Um, Japan needs to change that. How dare Japan, they're taking advantage of people, et cetera, et cetera, we demand, right? It is kind of the mind frame. Now you're, you're working at a great studio that Tons of people would love to get into, and they give you the weekends off so you can actually have a life. <laughs> you can have a personal life too. The way animation, man, and, and really, like, I'm not, I'm not, a, not, not just hyping them up because I work there. Like, legitimately, they earn all the hype. It, it really is like an honor. Like, it, it is the dream job at the moment. I just knew since uh, first grade. That's the thing I could do every single day forever, and, and I would feel most fulfilled. 
Henry compares being at the top of the anime industry to being an Olympic athlete where you can perform seemingly impossible tasks with extreme speed and efficiency. However, as a new animator at a small studio, you don't yet have the experience and skills to drastically reduce your working hours and produce drawings efficiently, so the beginning is quite rough. I just thought this was all clickbait stuff. I, I'm looking at these YouTube videos doing some research like, ah, oh, you guys just did this for the shock factor. You just wanted the views and I saw this one. And the sad truth is that being a manga writer is essentially voluntary enslavement. <laughs> Non-stop work, little sleep, malnutrition, and stress. Is this laying it on thicker? Is this for real? <laughs> well, it's interesting because it, it's not a hundred percent wrong. <laughs> How about this? The company opened to freelance, and that time was four million yen, five yen. She's making like three hundred dollars in the beginning. Three hundred dollars a month. That's better than me. <laughs> no, That's definitely better than me. She's better than that. Just means she's a better animator than me. And I give her props. That's good. <laughs> I was working at one of the harshest, absolute harshest in between <laughs> studios in the whole country. I earned one dollar per drawing. Oh man. And it, and I could only do about ten drawings per day. And that's even with a ten hour day. It was about an hour per drawing. There are some people that are prodigies, right? And, and I need to accept that too. That's a hard pill for me to swallow. There are some people that can do a better job than me and make many less hours than me. So they do get three day weekends just because they can finish by Thursday what would take wow. me through Sunday. 家に帰らないっていう人もいっぱいいるんで、会社のこう机の下とかでこう寝っ転がってもう寝泊まりしてる人とか、一週間ぐらいずっといるとか一ヶ月いるとか。Well, so okay,、uh, again, especially now as an employee of Toei Animation, and, and, and all my opinions are my own. I am not a representative of all of that. But what she's talking about is in between animators, and and that really is the most problematic. Position in the industry, to be honest, and I don't know how to fix it because Japanese anime is still hand drawn. It's not done traditional.、Uh, right. it, it's, it's not done computerized. Like、mm. every individual drawing would have to be a lot of money, right?、Um, right. But that's not in the budget. The reason that. Honestly, anime is so high quality is because you have a whole bunch of people. Working super hard, way harder than to be honest, the budget would even allow. And if after that workday they only earn twenty dollars, they're like, you know what? But I just worked on a project that's going to be world class animation. That's my life. That's my pride. Do you realize that America produces almost no two D animation because of this exact problem? Like to get good quality, the price would be ridiculous.、Uh, even the Western industry like needs it absolutely needs it would not be able to breathe without the Asian industry that works the way that I just described. So even. The Simpsons, even SpongeBob SquarePants. You think, oh, SpongeBob, that's an American cartoon, is it? It's storyboarded and written in the West, maybe. But、uh, no, the whole thing's animated here under the work ethic I just said, right? In Japan,、um, it's like, well, no, I want this crazy additional action sequence. Well, we don't have the budget or the time for it. Well, then all of us will just work really hard just to do it, right? Um. Wow, this summer. I would say it's probably all true, to be honest, because I don't want to take anything away from any of the artists that have to go through this really harsh stuff. But but all I want people to just keep going back to is we're all here though because we want to be. Obviously, just coming at it from the Western perspective, obviously it's ridiculous to get paid so little, 17 hours a day. Do not. So obviously that's crazy. That's ridiculous. They're nuts here, right? To to think that that's normal and sustainable.、Uh, some some things need to be rethought in this industry. Absolutely. I don't like when the Western animators comment like、uh, they're doing it totally wrong or like everything needs to change. They need to pay their animators X amount and and equate it to like the the dollar amounts and the work hours from the West. I I'm on your guys' side in the sense that I, of course I want animators to live good lives and I want to live good lives and and be paid well. But if they got exactly what they were asking for. My boss would have to come over to me and be like, "No, you need to leave. You can't do that extra work because of contractual blah blah blah." And I'd go home kind of pissed, like I wanted to work on that longer. That's the show I work on now. Oh really? One oh, oh, One Piece. Here we go. And who's your favorite to draw? 
actually that guy in the back when he's transformed into a dragon. I like drawing like uh, monsters and stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, when that guy's transformed, it's pretty fun. That guy. How long has One Piece been like a, a series? Years and years and years. It's at a uh, hundred volumes oh of God. the of the manga. Wow. And then episode a thousand is going to be airing pretty soon. So you, you don't draw the manga though. You just do the, the anime. anime. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what I thought. Yeah. This is One Piece too. Wow. Funny thing is, um, I wanted to be an artist when I was younger. I was going to go to art school. I did a lot of AP art classes, though I did fine art. And I got out of it. I didn't go to art school. I decided to go to business school because it is just uh, pretty rough. And you have to work so many hours. It, it was too rough. I was like, I can make way more money and, and work a lot less hard if I go into the business world. <laughs> it's a mix. It's a mix, right? Because certainly they shouldn't get too much work. And yes, there have been times, and, and I've seen, where people just get a giant stack of work on their desk and it's like, this. finish this by Friday. <laughs> And like, if that's the case, like, how are you going to finish that without working, you know, like uh, 20 hour days, right? Mm -hmm. So that th there are situations where you're kind of forced into that. And that's wrong, I think, mm -hmm. right? You should, the, there shouldn't be that much work piled on individual people. So are you ever going to go back to America? That's the big question. You no. ever? No. no? That was not. so fast. Oh, no. he's the easiest answer ever. Are I mean, because, well, because America still doesn't produce the animation I want. The only, uh, my life is all about this career. The only thing that could bring me back is some art project, some series or film that is so artistically amazing and impressive to me that I feel like even if I have to leave Japan, I have to be a part of that unbelievable project. So you're going to do this until you retire? There is no retirement. <laughs> there is no retirement. There is just working on this. <laughs> but again, like this yeah. is my hobby. Like even if I'm, you know, 93 years old, like why wouldn't I pull that out and draw it, right? That's right. So, so for me, it's like I, it, I have the same hobby, but as opposed to just drawing in the sketchbook, I get to draw for something millions of people are going to see, right? right? It's awesome. Well, thank you, Henry. And uh, yeah, now now I wanna, I might I might watch One Piece. Just, just because. You should, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a recommendation of a few One Piece movies. I got some work to do. Oh man, I'm gonna become an otaku. <laughs>